Hi everyone, Dr. Mike here. Let's talk about dispelling some lactic acid myths. First thing is, you know that we can use glucose to produce energy, right? Glucose turns into pyruvate, that's called glycolysis. Pyruvate jumps into the mitochondria, enters the Krebs cycle, also known as the tricarboxylic acid cycle. Its products jump over to the electron transport chain, and with oxygen, we produce a whole bunch of energy. So around about 36 ATP molecules, which is really good. And because we're using oxygen, it's called the aerobic pathway. Now, if you jump into the gym, lift some heavy weights really hard, really fast, what you're going to find is the amount of energy you require to lift those weights is not matched by the amount of available oxygen. So we need to go through another process. So these products back up, back up, back up because there's not enough oxygen as pyruvate and pyruvate goes down this pathway called the anaerobic pathway, which doesn't use oxygen, produces lactic acid. Lactic acid, definition of an acid is it produces hydrogen ions, so it makes things acidic and and a base, right? And this base is called lactate. Now, here's the thing. Evidence is now showing that lactate doesn't actually sit here in this process. Lactate should be moved to glycolysis. And instead of pyruvate being the end product of glycolysis, lactate should be. In actual fact, lactate outnumbers pyruvate in resting muscle tissue 10 to 1, and in active muscle tissue 160 to one. So lactate isn't just a product of anaerobic metabolism, but is the normal end product of glycolysis. Now, we also think that hydrogen ions are produced through a separate process and that the lactate actually helps neutralize the hydrogen ions. So lactate isn't actually the cause of your muscle pain. Now, your question might be, what about lactic acid? Well, there's actually no evidence that lactic acid exists.